back. Let's continue the 14 nanometer, nanometer process. I is almost finished uploading. But I need something to drink. 14 nanometer is 2 pm. And I start, I start to get tired, but that's too early to stop for today. So I like to cook some uh, hot food. Cook some hot food uh, later. Just big uh, onions, rice, and this soy sauce called tamai. But we need some uh, cola. So I like to get started to read about the uh, computer hardware again. But I will go back to read uh, the this. This is why I'm sleepy. Stuff happen like this. This is why I cannot have it close to my computer or cell phones. I cannot have water or cola close to my computer. Because I do like this when I'm sleepy. Yes. Let's do that to continue. Yes, I drink a lot, but that's not beers anymore. I'm drinking uh, juice and cola. I cannot have it close to my uh, cell phones. So that's 14 nanometers, but and that's more of 20, 30, 30. But I like to go down 5 and 3 and 2 nanometers. So that's a short one. So, but I need uh, a little minute. I need a minute to do my set ready. I have to check my cell phone. I did it, and I have to go to my bed. And I'm freezing a little bit again today, so I can go to a hot shower again today. Later. NM process. The 14 nm process refers to the MOSFET technology node that is the successor to the 22 nm or 20 nm node. The 14 nm was so named by the International Technology Roadmap for Semiconductors (ITRS). Until about 2011, the node following 22 nm was expected to be 16 nm. All 14 nm nodes use FinFET, Fin Field Effect Transistor, technology, a type of multigate MOSFET technology that is a non-planar evolution of planar silicon MOS technology. Samsung Electronics taped out a 14 nm chip in 2014, before manufacturing 10 nm class NAND flash chips in 2013. The same year, SK Hynix began mass production of 16 nm NAND flash, and TSMC began 16 nm Fin FET production. The following year, Intel began shipping 14 nm scale devices to consumers. History. Background. 14 nm resolution is difficult to achieve in a polymeric resist, even with electron beam lithography. In addition, 
the chemical effects of ionizing radiation also limit reliable resolution to about 30 nm, which is also achievable using current state-of-the-art immersion lithography. Hard mask materials and multiple patterning are required. A more significant limitation comes from plasma damage to locate materials. The extent of damage is typically 20 nm thick, 1 but can also go up to about 100 nm. Two, the damage sensitivity is expected to get worse as the locate materials become more porous. For comparison, the atomic radius of an unconstrained silicon is 0.11 nm. Thus about 90 psi atoms would span the channel length leading to substantial leakage. Teller innovations and Sequoia design systems developed a methodology allowing double exposure for the 16 forward slash 14 nm node circa 2010. 3. Samsung and Synopsis have also begun implementing double patterning in 22 nm and 16 nm design flows. 4. Mentor Graphics reported taping out 16 nm test chips in 2010. 5. On the 17th of January, 2011, IBM announced that they were teaming up with ARM to develop 14 nm chip processing technology. 6. On the 18th of February, 2011, Intel announced that it would construct a new $5 billion semiconductor fabrication plant in Arizona, designed to manufacture chips using the 14 nm manufacturing processes and leading edge 300 mm wafers. 7, 8. The new fabrication plant was to be named Fab 42, and construction was meant to start in the middle of 2011. Intel built the new facility as the most advanced, high-volume manufacturing facility in the world and said it would come online in 2013. Intel has since decided to postpone opening this facility and instead upgrade its existing facilities to support 14 nm chips. 9. On the 17th of May, 2011, Intel announced a roadmap for 2014 that included 14 transistors for their Xeon, Core, and Atom product lines. 10. Technology demos. In the late 1990s, Hisamoto's Japanese team from Hitachi Central Research Laboratory began collaborating with an international team of researchers on further developing FinFET technology, including TSMC's Chen Minghu and various UC Berkeley researchers. In 1998, the team successfully fabricated devices down to a 17 nm process. They later developed a 15 nm FinFET process in 2001. 11. In 2002, an international team of researchers at UC Berkeley, including Shia Bli Ahmed, Bangladeshi, Scott Bell, Cyrus Tabari, Iranian, Jeffrey Bocker, David Kaiser, Chen Minghu, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, and Zhu Jaking Lu demonstrated FinFET devices down to 10 nm gate length. 11, 12, in 2005, Toshiba demonstrated a 15 nm FinFET process, with a 15 nm gate length and 10 nm fin width, using a side wall spacer process. 13, it has been suggested that for the 16 nm node, a logic transistor would have a gate length of about 5 nm. 14. In December, 2007, Toshiba demonstrated a prototype memory unit that used 15 nanometra thin lines. 15. In December, 2009, National Nano Device Laboratories, owned by the Taiwanese government, produced a 16 nm SRAM chip. 16. In September, 2011, Hynix announced the development of 15 nm NAND cells. 17. In December, 2012, Samsung Electronics taped out a 14 nm chip. 18. In September, 2013, Intel demonstrated an Ultrabook laptop that used a 14 nm Broadwell CPU, and Intel CEO Brian Kutnick said, CPU will be shipping by the end of this year. 19. However, 
Shipment was delayed further until Q4 2014.20. In August 2014, Intel announced details of the 14nm microarchitecture for its upcoming Core M processors. The first product to be manufactured on Intel's 14nm manufacturing process. The first systems based on the Core M processor were to become available in Q4 2014 according to the press release. Intel's 14 nanometer technology uses second generation TRIG-8 transistors to deliver industry. Leading performance, power. Density and cost per transistor said Mark Burra, Intel Senior Fellow, Technology and Manufacturing Group and Director, Process Architecture and Integration. 21. In 2018, a shortage of 14 nm fab capacity was announced by Intel. 22. Shipping devices. In 2013, SK Hynix began mass production of 16 nm NAND flash. 23. TSMC began 16nm Fin FET production. 24. And Samsung began 10nm Class NAND flash production. 25. On the 5th of September 2014, Intel launched the first three Broadwell-based processors that belonged to the low TDP Core M family: Core M5 Y10, Core M5 Y10A, and Core M5 Y70. 26. In February 2015, Samsung announced that their flagship smartphones, the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge, would feature 14nm Exynos systems and chip, SOX. 27. On the 9th of March 2015, Apple Incorporated released the early 2015 MacBook and MacBook Pro which utilized 14nm Intel processors. Of note is the A7-5557U, which has Intel Iris Graphics 6102 cores running at 3.1 GHz, using only 28 watts. 28, 29, on the 25th of September, 2015. Apple Incorporated released the iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, which are equipped with desktop class A9 chips, 30, that are fabricated in both 14nm by Samsung and 16nm by TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. In May 2016, NVIDIA released its GeForce 10 series GPUs based on the Pascal architecture, which incorporates TSMC's 16nm FinFE technology and Samsung's 14nm FinFET technology. 31, 32, in June 2016. AMD released its Radeon RX 400 GPUs based on the Polaris architecture, which incorporates 14nm FinFET technology from Samsung. The technology was licensed to Global Foundries for dual sourcing. 33. On the 2nd of August 2016, Microsoft released the Xbox One S which utilized 16nm by TSMC. On the 2nd of March, 2017, AMD released its Ryzen CPUs based on the Zen architecture, incorporating 14nm FinFET technology from Samsung, which was licensed to Global Foundries for Global Foundries to build. 34. The NEC SX Aurora Zubasa processor, introduced in October 2017, 35, uses a 16nm FinFET process from TSMC and is designed for us with NECSX. Supercomputers. 36, on the 22nd of July, 2018, Global Foundries announced their 12nm leading performance, 12LP, process, based on a licensed 14LP process from Samsung. 37. In September 2018 NVIDIA released GPUs based on their Turing microarchitecture, which were made on TSMC's 12nm process and have a transistor density of 24.67 million transistors per square millimeter. 38, 14nm process nodes. 
It is logic device ground rules. 2015. Samsung. A. TSMC. 39. Intel Global Foundries. B. SMIC process name 16 forward slash 14 nm 14 forward slash 11 nm 16 ff 16 nm 16 ff plus 16 nm 16 ffc 16 nm 12 ffc 12 nm 14 nm 14 lpp 40 14 nm 12 lp 41 42 12 nm 14 nm transistor density, MTR forward slash millimeter 2, 32.94, 37, 14 nm, 54.38, 37, 11 nm, 28.88, 43, 33.8, 44, 37.5, 45, C, 30.59, 37, 36.71, 37, 30, 47, transistor gate pitch, NM, 7078, 14 LPE, HD, 78, 14 LPP, HD, 84, 14 LPP, UHP, 84, 14 LPP, HP, 78, 11 LPP, UHD, 8870, 14 NM, 70, 14 NM plus, 84, 14 nm and plus 84 interconnect pitch nm 56677052 transistor fin pitch nm 42494524248 transistor fin width nm 88 8 transistor fin height nm 42 tilde 3837422 Production year 2015-2016-2017-2018-2019. Second source to global foundries. Based on Samsung's 14nm process. Intel uses this formula sat smiley 46. Hash. Lower numbers are better, except for transistor density, in which case is the opposite dot, 48. Transistor gate pitch is also referred to as CPP, contacted poly pitch, and interconnect pitch is also referred to as MMP, minimum metal pitch, dot, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Good. I did finish this. Should maybe go to the... 22 nanometer. So we have to look. Uh, have a list of the semiconductors. I did not know. I don't know where semiconductor fabrication. I saw a list uh, somewhere. Yes, we can stop the video before it's splitting. So uh, I will just continue.